This week we're going to be learning about data definition language, DDL, which is a subset of SQL commands that let you create and alter the structure of your database. So we're going to create databases and tables. We're going to add indexes and create constraints on uh, columns in the database that um, will allow you to um, prevent against certain kinds of damage. So data integrity constraints. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a new query file. And I'm going to save this as, let's go for um, week 8 ddl.sql. Now, the commands that I'm going to be showing you this week require you to have a higher level of access than we've been using. So when you're writing a select statement, you just need writes to read data. Um, but when you're executing DDL commands to create or alter databases, um, that's a higher level of permission. And the student account, CIS 275, or I'm sorry, 275 student, um, doesn't have um, that permission. So you cannot, with the 275 student, create a new database. And for most of the databases that we have already, you don't have permission to add tables or to alter structure. Um, but what we've done is we've created this uh, two CIS 275 Sandbox X database, and you do have permission to alter structure inside of this database. So you can create new tables here. And if I open this up and look at the database tables, You'll see there's already quite a few of them, and most of these are databases that people have created for CIS 275. Um, and we go in here periodically and we delete anything that's still lingering around. But, uh, but when you come in and try to do your assignment this week, you're probably going to see a lot of databases here. So the first thing that I want to point out is that uh, um, you won't be able to create your own database on C uh, CIS DBSS. Um, you will be able to create your own database if you have a local instance of um, SQL Server running on your machine and you're connected to that instead. Um, so for these examples, uh, I'm just going to uh, connect to CIS 275 Sandbox X to create the tables. And I'm also going to use a convention to avoid collisions with other people who are also trying to create tables in this database. Um, I'm going to prefix any table I create with um, mg underscore. So Mark Goodman, mg underscore, and then I'm going to have the actual table name. And that way, unless somebody else with the initials mg is also trying to create tables with exactly the same name, there shouldn't be a collision. I should be able to work without running over anybody else. So I'm going to start with use CIS 275 Sandbox X. And then the first command we're going to look at is to create a table. So I'm going to actually create database and then you put your name there and then go to actually commit that change. So this will create a database Let's call it uh, discussions as an example. And then go, this will create the database and then commit those changes so that subsequent batches of transactions can access the database. Since I can't actually execute this command logged in as 275 student, I'm just going to comment that line out. But typically what you'd have is create database discussions go to commit the change, and then use discussions before you have your create table statements. So I'm just going to comment both of those lines up, and instead my work will go in CIS 275 Sandbox. So in order to create a table, you first need to have a design for the table you're going to create. And I've gone ahead and put together a simple ERD, as an example, it just has five entities in it. And we'll look at it in a little more detail in a second. But let me start with a description of what I'm trying to do here. 
So there's a website called Discus, D-I-S-Q-U-S, and uh, they provide uh, third-party discussions for a variety of websites. So for example, if you go to SpoilerTV.com and you look at a particular page, um, each posting on Spoiler TV has a discus dis discussion associated with it where people can post comments. And so there are users that are registered with Discus and they make posts. Discus keeps track of when the post was made. Um, Discus doesn't actually have separate subject lines from the content, but I, I think that's a good thing to have. So I'm going to add that to my model. Um, and then each user has the ability to upload, uh, I'm sorry, upvote or downvote um, other posts. And Discus keeps track of who's upvoted or downvoted a post. So you can't, for example, upvote a post multiple times or both upvote and downvote a post. And then finally, this is threaded. So you can reply to somebody else's post. And you get this little tree structure. Um, or you can make a new post on the thread, in which case your post is at top level. So those are most of the features that I want to model in my database. So let's look at the ERD for that now. So starting at the top, there's a user object, and that's for user registration on Discus. Um, I've gone ahead and kept the minimum amount of information necessary to create an account. So there's just a user ID, which is going to be the primary key for this table, a username, and a password hash. Um, for users who volunteer information, I will have additional profile information, including the user's first name, last name, email, if they have a home page. You could add additional information to that if you wanted to, but I'm going to keep this fairly minimal. So the relationship between the user and the profile is uh, um, you can't have a profile without a user to attach it to. So each profile is going to have exactly one user, but you can create a user account that doesn't have a profile associated with it. So we see that profile to user has exactly one user. User to profile has either zero or one user. I'm sorry, zero or one profile. And then users create discussions that are then associated with particular content on their website. So for example, the owner of Spoiler TV created a discus discussion that went with the thread on Sherlock Holmes that we were just looking at. So a user can create multiple discus discussions and associated them with, associate them with pages on their website. And then a discussion can have multiple posts. So every time a user creates a new post on a Discus discussion, a post object is going to be created. And it's going to have a post ID. It's going to have either it's going to be a reply to some other post. So you get this little loop here that shows that um, a post is a reply to a parent post. Or it's also going to have a discussion ID, so you know what discussion a particular post belongs to. I've included fields for a title and a field for content. And finally, the date that the post was made. So the discussion, I'm going to give it a name so that it's easy to refer to in the interface. Um, this attribute name actually is a mistake. Um, I should have cut that out, but Let's just go with that for now. Um, and a discussion ID, which is the primary key for the discussion table. So user creates a discussion. Post is associated with a discussion. Discussion can have many posts. You can create a discussion that doesn't have any posts with it. Each post is associated with exactly one discussion. And then a post may be a reply to another post. So a post has a link to its parent which can be either zero or one. And then a parent can have zero to many replies to it. Finally, a user makes a post. And so I actually need a user ID here as well. So there's a mistake in the model. So I want to drop this attribute name. I need to add 
a user ID to the post to be able to tell who made the post. And then, um, uh, let's see, so users can also rate posts. So every time a user upvotes on a post, there's going to be a rating object or row that's created that shows who is rating the post, which post is being rated, and whether it's an upvote or not. So it's either going to be an upvote or a downvote. And then since there's only one of them, if a user changes their ratings, it's going to look up this record and it's going to change whether it's an upvote or not. So a post can have many ratings. A user can make many ratings. Each rating record is exactly one user rating exactly one post. So I think that's it for the data model. So we're going to make a couple of changes to the model as we implement this database. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make those changes before I do the creates. Um, and this is actually fairly realistic. You will find mistakes when you go to implement a data model. Um, but let me pop up Visio. And I have a discussions ERD Visio file. And so let's get rid of attribute name. And then let me add an FK user ID to my post. So I'm going to insert attribute after. And I'm going to call this FK user ID. And then this is going to be a foreign key that connects to the user table. So foreign key should always be on the many side of a one to n relationship. And I think I'm in good shape. So I'll go ahead and save that. And this is the model we're going to be working on. So let me go ahead and close the discussion. And I'm going to go ahead and print. Oh, actually, I wanted export. I'm sorry. So I'm going to export that as a PDF and save it. Publish, replace. And so here's my updated discussion, ERD.